hello 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 marcia ben from think premium ja here uh just a quick quick word for my fellow entrepreneurs or anybody who's going through a hard time whether you're a business owner or you are an employee or a student stay-at-home parents sick retiree whatever your issue is you know what real faith is faith isn't what you have when things are good faith is what you have when things are not working out for you and you have no clue as to how you're going to get things to work and it's you trusting in things that you've hoped for even when your eyes aren't seeing it now is it hard to do when things are falling apart yeah it is hard it's frankly it's difficult but real faith is what you do with what you don't see like that's real faith real faith is believing god when things look unbelievable and you know one of the most comforting things i find especially as somebody who would have seen depression would have seen anxiety would have seen trauma from various angles seen abuse from various angles throughout my lifetime i can say that at the end of the day god is able to do more in your surrender when you let things go rather than you trying to hold on to things like you'd be surprised how mighty god moves like i was actually um there's a content creator i follow on youtube yeah he does devotionals his name is devon and he made this quote it says god can do so much more with your surrender than you will ever do with your control devotions with the marcus right and it's true and it actually brought me back to a scripture I, it's been years since i've actually read it but i saw it recently when i started looking on that quote and the scripture is from isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 and it says those who hope in the lord will renew their strength they will soar on wings like eagles they will run and not grow weary they will walk and not be faint you know when you put your hope in god you're less likely to fall for a counterfeit and you know there's a lot of buzz on social media about counterfeit spouses and all of that but there are many counterfeits out there there are counterfeit business opportunities you know business opportunities that god would not put you in because you have to sacrifice something that god would not want you to like your integrity your health your self-esteem your self-respect you know um there can be counterfeit health opportunities as well like counterfeit health solutions that tell you that okay we can help you to lose this much weight but you'll be stuck on this medication for the rest of your life okay we can help you to get rid of this tumor or this skin condition but you must take this lotion forever and ever and ever or you must only see this doctor or even counterfeit friendships counterfeit there i say family members because there are many of us as entrepreneurs that we've never really or even persons in general that we've never really felt like family with family we've never felt like we belonged anywhere and we try to get into these relationships with persons not not necessarily it doesn't have to be intimate we just someone to talk to because you just wanted somebody to talk to so you didn't feel alone and you know because you're trying to do things on your own strength instead of leaning to god you go away from god and you go away from his will for your life and you create more problems than you're trying to solve instead of you now trying to solve your issue with loneliness instead of bringing that to god you cause yourself even more loneliness because you put yourself around people that don't like you or you're trying to gain wealth and because you're trying to take it over yourself instead of going to god as deuteronomy chapter it's Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 says have reverence for the Lord and he will give you wealth because he is a person who controls wealth according to the covenant that he made with his ancestors I'm paraphrasing here but that's really it you can always check it out for yourself to see you would find that you get into a lot less trouble like I love what Deuteronomy I, I love what Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength they will soar on wings like eagles they will run and not be weary. They will walk and not be faint. Because if you put your trust in God, God will work things out for you in ways that you cannot even fathom. Like, you have no idea 
the blessings that God has in store for you, but you have to let go of your need for control. And especially if you are in business, it's hard to not have a need for control because you're expected to take initiative and get things done and be resourceful and be independent if you want your business to grow. But why not try being interdependent on God? Because sometimes that illusion that you have of being independent is really being codependent because you end up taking on people that need you to help them so that they can continue to act like they're better than you and control and or oppress you and that's really it like you can't ask god to deliver you from poverty and your environment is still rife with people who are poverty minded your environment is rife with people that wouldn't know what a budget is even if it was demonstrated right in front of them or accepted you can't say that you want to stop drinking alcohol and you're around alcoholics and your house full of alcohol you can't say that you're trying to break your porn addiction and it's still the favorites on all of your browsers <laughs> like how do you do that <laughs> it's gonna be hard like can you imagine or you're saying that you're trying to break this porn addiction and you have to pass by a specific um stripper club um strip club right and on your way to your gym or on your way home or on your way to your supermarket or wherever like it, it's in your face it's in your vicinity you're going to see or your own friends and family members that live for that you can't say that you're trying to know walk wholeheartedly with god and you know turn away from your old ways when everybody else around you girl they be backsliding so much they be doing more than six flags and any water park combined like they be doing the most most you can't do it it's just not possible so you see what you need to do is sometimes your best deliverance is putting everything in god's hands not trying to control things and also working on your environment because that's what messes up a lot of people especially christians like you go through the process okay you get baptized okay you pray you get deliverance from a particular thing but the true deliverance happens with what you do after you make that prayer what changes happen after because that's what's going to ensure that you stay delivered you can't say that okay i am gonna wait until god gives me the business idea or gives me my purpose when you're still taking on projects just out of a sense of obligation because you don't want to tell people no how is god going to get to you if you don't sit down and listen or you're trying to entertain yourself with counterfeit people whether whether they're counterfeit lovers or counterfeit friends or counterfeit customers counterfeit suppliers dare i say it people that them 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 are democracies in this how are you going to that yeah there's a reason why god said in proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6 trust in the lord with all thine heart and lean not on thy own understanding but in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path if you really want god to step in and do something new you have to do something new you have to be a brand new version of yourself and the brand new version of yourself starts by stop entertaining your counterfeits i said it i said what i said you can't say that you want peace and you're still stuck at your toxic workplace for you do it or you do it or even if you even if you can't leave your toxic workplace you still don't change something in terms of how you handle the situation or you do it you can't say that you're trying to okay find loving relationships and great friendships and you haven't dealt with the trauma from the abuse that you endured as a child whether it was sexual emotional physical or even spiritual abuse because spiritual abuse is a real thing people preventing you from going to church and preventing you from um reading the word of god comfortably and you know that, that's also spiritual abuse as well You can't say that you want change and you're not willing to change how you act. And the greatest way to start 
is putting your trust in God and letting him renew you, letting God guide you. Because if you trust in God and you allow him to guide you and you allow him to order your steps, you'll be surprised where God takes you. Like You will love the destination that God takes you. And I'm going to read this um, from the Good News Translation. It's Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. Yes, you know, my love, that verse there. Mm -hmm. And it says, With all thine abundant wealth through Christ Jesus, my God will supply your needs. And with all thy abundant wealth, Christ Jesus, my God, will supply your needs. God has, God, sorry, Jesus has riches in heaven, you know. All the wealth in the world heals to what compares in heaven. So if you want wealth in terms of your finances, or even increase in terms of your joy, increase in terms of your peace, increase in terms of your purpose. Because there are many people out there that feel like they're aimless, that they have no purpose. They don't know what to do with them li their lives. They might have these illustrious careers, but they feel empty. You know, turn to God. There's nothing wrong with turning to God. And as a matter of fact, you know, a great place to start is even with gratitude as well. You see, because you're so busy trying to fix things and do whatever, you forget to actually be content with what you have. Sometimes that discontentment is a, t is a sign from God saying that, hey, stop and spend time with me and I can show you things that I've been blessing you with that you still haven't been grateful for. Or I can show you things in your life that you might need to change. I actually really like this verse. Is It's from Philippians chapter 4 as well. It's from verse 12. And it says, no, actually not 12. It's actually from 11 to 12. It says, and, and I'm also using the Good News Bible here. And I am not saying this because I feel neglected. For I have learned to be satisfied with what I have. I know what it is to be in need and what it is to have more than enough. I've learned this secret so that anywhere, anytime, I am content. Whether I am full or hungry or I have too much or I have too little. You know, sometimes the best way that God reaches us is when we're deprived of something. And sometimes you can enter into that through a fast. You can seek deliverance on your own. You can go to God, have a fast. You're actually, you can actually Google how to have a fast. I did that, <laughs> YouTube that by myself, even before joining a church, and that helped. Um, you can pray to God about it. If he's leading you into a fast, you'll see that he keeps bringing that up in your environment. At least that's what he did with me. I prayed about it for a while, and he, he led me to resources that led me to having a fast. And uh, you can also read scriptures as well to get some insight. You know, Daniel would have done a fast. Esther would have done a fast. And you know, can get some sound examples from there. But what I am saying is, don't be afraid to let go and let God, because God can restore you. God can help you to rise above your situation with wings like eagles. And God can breathe life into your situation in a minute, a single minute. He can change your entire situation and turn your whole life around. You never know, but you have to let go. And it's when you let go, the more you let go, the more you realize that you stop entertaining counterfeits. The more you stop realizing that you entertain things that were never for you anyway. The more you realize that you stop, you stop stressing, you find peace. Even when things are not going well, you still have peace. You can still smile. You can still have joy. And I don't know about you, but I've had days where I've had money and I've had days where I've had none. And I'm telling you, my peace from knowing God trumps every time. Like it wins every time. Regardless of what's happening, because I have peace in God, even if I may not have enough of what I think I might need based on societal standards or my own situation, knowing that I have God, it's still more than enough. It's still a win because I knew what it was like to not have that peace and try and filling it, fill it with all sorts of things that never made no sense. And as an entrepreneur, that, that just leads you down to a path of destruction, wasted time, frustration, and unnecessary disappointment and heartache. And trust me, being an entrepreneur is hard enough. Do you really want to be taking on things that you don't need to be doing? Like, faith is crucial in business. I don't care what anybody says, but if you have faith in business, yeah, 
you will you can actually survive if you don't i'm not saying you can't do well because you do have sinners that do well because the devil blesses too just like how god can bless it the devil bless it to you and that's why it, that's why sin is so sweet that's because it's so deadly the, the packaging why why come on look on gluttony look on the sin of gluttony food can be very tasty but that's why if you take too much of it or eat too much of the wrong things it can also be dangerous for your health you know all things all things in moderation and you also have to understand that in all things there's good and bad if you really surrender to the will of god and allow him to deal with your situation and allow him to come in and do a new thing in your life i don't know you might be very pleasantly surprised by what god does like yeah I mean, Isaiah 40 verse 31 is no joke. But those whose hope is in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. It's a real thing. Anyway, I do hope this helps. If this was um, a message that added value to you, I want you to comment below. And I want you to say, I am ready to let go. Comment down below and say, I am ready to let go. All right. Um, again, Mars event from Think Premium JA. Like, share, comment, and subscribe if this video was valid, valuable to you. Share with a friend. I'd like that. <laughs> Save it in your favorites or whatever it is. But I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and remember to never stop dreaming. Bye bye.